Hello, this is Aaron from Twitchchef. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate and delete agents at runtime in your simulation. To do that, we need to create a new Blueprint class in our team from the Atoms Viewer component. So let's create a new Blueprint class. Uh, let's search the behavior component and use this as parent. Now let's open it. Uh, now we can override uh, all the um, events of behavior components. To generate agents, we can do that in the init frame. So just generate a new init frame event. Uh, and then let's uh, get the initialize new agent function from the agent group. Uh, let's get anchor also the get simulation time because we'll try to generate one agent every 10 frame. So let's connect the agent group. Let's connect to the other one. Now I need to, to get that division. Okay. So connect the simulation time, let's put 10 here, generate one every 10 frame. And uh, now I need a uh, minor. So when the reminder is less than you know, 0.5, then generate one agent. And now just put a condition. This one and this one will be my true condition. Uh, let's connect execution there. Uh, and now let's set up the parameter of the initializing agents. So let's create, let's make a vector. This one will be my position. Let's generate at the origin. Put another make vector my direction let's use the x-axis let's set the up up vector that is the z one the scale of the agents yes now we need to select the agent type asset and the last thing that that is important set the group id to minus one in this way this function generates automatically a unique uh, group id for each agent uh, if you want you can control manual this but remember to use always a unique deeper agent here uh, I recommend to use minus one, so it's automatically handled by by the by the components. Uh, and then here, if you need to do some finals with the agents, you have the new agents created here as output. So let's compile it. Perfect. And now let's test it. So let's attach our beer component, and I have already the agent there. Let's add some animation. I have a work clip that I already prepared and so it's working fine. So now if you want to delete the agents, let's do that and let's go to the blueprint. Uh, let's override the end frame function and then for example just let's iterate for each agent let's get the agent's position metadata that it's a vector the three metadata so let's connect my agents this one will be my position uh, if I now at the length mm. 
Dr. Lant. Here we need a switch. Sorry, I can branch. And higher. So basically, it's now let's put a distance. I don't know, like 5,000. Okay, now let's connect the execution. And now we need the key function from the agent group. Kill agents. Let's connect the agent group. Connect through. And now we need to get the group ID metadata that we can get from the agents, get agents local ID target get this one and this one so now if the agent is uh, is far than 500 units should be killed by by the module so let's compile it uh, let's have a look that's it thank you for watching see you in the next video